We're back with today's chronicled news from football history in just a moment. It's kickoff time. Good day, gridiron guys and gals. It's time for your pigskin dispatch video. And we're glad you could join us for some U.S. football history from July 24th, 1915. The USS Eastland disaster occurred in Chicago near the Clark Street Bridge on the Chicago River. 844 lives were lost of the more than 2,500 people aboard. When the Great Lakes transport ship capsized on its way to taking folks to the Western Electric Company picnic. A certain 20-year-old man named George Hallis was supposed to be on board but was running late and missed the boat, probably changing NFL and football history forever. Big news from July 24, 1969. After a successful mission of having men first walk on the moon, NASA's Apollo 11 capsule returns to Earth carrying astronauts Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins. Buzz Aldrin was the starting center on the Montclair High School 1946 undefeated New Jersey State Championship football team. On July 24, 1991, we have news from north of the border. The CFL's Ottawa Rough Riders Board of Directors all resigned due to, to a compilation of events that placed the franchise in deep financial trouble. The team ended up folding in 1996. Now we'd like to take a moment to remind you that if you hit the subscribe button down below and click on the notification button up in the upper right hand corner, we'll get you all the latest YouTube videos that we post on this channel. And now it's time to take you in stadium down to the July 24th birthday bowl. And now for your lineup of July 24th Hall of Fame members that have birthdays. In 1876, from the University of Chicago, at fullback, Clarence Hirschberger. Mr. Hirschberger was enshrined in the College Football Hall of Fame in 1970. He was the first Western player to become an All-American in 1898. He later became the head coach of the Lake Forest College football program. Next, a guard from both Knox College and Dartmouth College, born in 1894 on the state, Clarence Doc Spears. Doc Spears was enshrined in the College Football Hall of Fame. After playing, went into coaching football, and he served as a head coach of Dartmouth, West Virginia, Minnesota, Oregon, Wisconsin, Madison, Toledo, Maryland, and College Park. A defensive end from Grambling State, Pro Football Hall of Famer of the Cleveland Browns and Green Bay Packers, born in 1934, number 87, Willie Davis. Willie Davis was a league champion five times, including Super Bowls one and two, and was also an All-Pro six times. Rounding out the Hall of Famers born on July 24, 1962, a kicker from Georgia, selected in the College Football Hall of Fame, playing for the Chicago Bears and Arizona Cardinals, number six, and also number three, Kevin Butler. In just his rookie season, he was an NFL champion as the 1985 Bears won Super Bowl XX. What a way to start a career. That's all the football news we have for today, but if you want to stay tuned with what we post on YouTube channel, please click the notification bell up in the upper right-hand corner, the subscribe button down below, and tune in to pigskindispatch.com on our website. And until next time, everybody, good football. <laughs>